today I'm going to do a um, real quick review on um, one of the drugstore makeup products that came out not too long ago. Um, before I get into my review, I have a super serious question to ask you guys. Do you ever lose your makeup and you have no idea where it went and then like weeks or even months later it magically dis like it magically appears right in front of your face like somebody was playing tricks on you. I swear to god some of my makeup like grows legs and walks off on me and it's driving me crazy. Um, as most of you know I was super obsessed with the Amrezy palette. I lost it in the midst of cleaning my house and I was pretty sure I threw it in the trash and um, I just found it like right where I record my videos down behind my couch because this like right here is my couch. I feel like an ass because I ordered another one and I've been using it since I've got it so now I'm like I have two palettes. I was thinking about giving one away because I only used it like twice but I think I'm just going to keep both of them because I don't know how people feel about giving away something that had been used. Especially like if it's on your eyes or something. So anyway, with all of that being said, let me know in the comments below if your shit walks away from you and you can't find it either. Um, so the product I'm going to be reviewing is the Maybelline New York uh, Dream Pure BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Clearing Perfector with the 2% Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. Um, this is what it looks like. I actually purchased this myself because I saw somebody do a um, review on it and to me it made their skin look super super nice. I got my shade in the color medium deep and as you can see by my face right now it is way too dark for me but I like blended it out. You can see like my hand is way whiter than my face. I don't know. Um, so it's a little bit dark for me, but I went to four different stores to get this and not one single one of them had the shade medium. Um, and one of them had the medium light, but the medium light was just a smidge too light for me. So I ended up just getting the darker one and since it doesn't have sunscreen in it, I was like, okay, well maybe while I'm out in the sun, um, almost all of my, um, foundations have sunscreen in them so I figured I'd probably get a little bit tanner because I do work outside for my job. So anyway, um, first impressions, I really didn't care for this. The formula is nice, there's no nasty scent. I feel like each time I use it I need to use a lot, like I mean just tons of it. So, and after I put it on, I feel like I need to go over my cheeks and my chin again because I have so much redness there. Um, I know this isn't actually a foundation, but in the video that I saw, it looked like it covered her skin amazingly because she had a lot of redness. Now, the first time that I used it, I used a brush and I did find that um, using it today, I used a beauty blender and I found that it went on much better and it had like a lot better coverage with my beauty blender. So I would suggest if you're going to use this product to actually use a dampened beauty blender because for me it applied a lot nicer and with the brush it almost looked like it applied really splotchy and I kind of am glad that I got it in the wrong color because that way I could really see like what spots like looked really bad. Um, I will say though, my first impressions, I did not like it, but using it today and yesterday, I actually really liked it, um, but that was because I used it with the Beauty Blender and, um, it just seemed to work a lot better. I would say that, okay, I will, I will tell you right now, I have this on my face and then, um... I let it pretty much dry all the way and then the last couple of days I picked this up at five below this is the color buff and it's mineral powder by City Color and a lot of people were complaining about City Color because it's so cheap but you know what City Color's products are on point this is um, what it looks like and it is a mineral powder so I just use the BB cream and I just put this right over the top of the BB cream. This stuff is actually really smooth and it does come with a little sponge and a mirror on there. And I actually really like this. I've only had this for a few days, but I think this this by itself 
actually covers really well. So with the BB cream and this mineral powder, I actually really like the way my face and my skin looks and neither of these are heavy. I really do like the texture of both of them. Um, I will just put a little bit of this on my hand so you guys can kind of get an idea. That is what the medium deep looks like. As you can see, it is super dark on my skin. And then when you blend it out, it doesn't give a lot of coverage. I would say that this is definitely not for somebody who's looking to try to cover a lot of acne. I think it's great that it has the salicylic acid in it to help you fight um, acne. So I think basically if you want to use this item and you do have severe acne, I have really pretty like clear skin. I barely have blemishes ever and if I do I definitely use something that really covers. I would definitely use this as a primer under your foundation if you have severe acne um, but it's supposed to help it clear it up so if you're using it as a primer and then your foundation you'll probably good, be good to go. Um, I did feel like yesterday after putting this on I went an entire day. I went from um, breakfast to the beach to lunch to um, another beach to dinner I mean I wore this and nothing on my face changed so I think it's got really great lasting power I'm trying to think of other things that I can talk about for it but I think that's about it um, all in all I give this probably an 8 out of 10 I do really like it and I'm going to use it every day in um, my makeup routine so um, I'm glad I purchased it and if you want to purchase this I would suggest not purchasing this, purchasing this from Walgreens, Rite Aid or CVS. Um, my Walgreens wanted $12.79 for this, my CVS wanted $13.49 and my Rite Aid wanted roughly around the same exact price um it's not worth that much I'm sorry so I did end up purchasing this at my local Meyer, which most of you don't have but Walmart sells this the cheapest and I believe it's $6.94 at Walmart and I paid $7.12 at my local Meyer. um I don't have a Walmart next to my local Meyer, so I actually usually travel to go to um, a Walmart and I really didn't feel like it for like what a matter of 15 cents so 15 cents I'll pay more um, to get this closer to home because it's probably gonna take me more gas to go to a Walmart um, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this review let me know in the comments below if you actually go out and buy it and how you like it because I love to know how everybody likes um, products that I've tried out and if it works different for them so I will see you guys next time bye